Okay, nice 10 minute game. Yeah, so in this um, set, I want to really try and focus on the results of the evaluation like we always do. And one of the key things that we found is um, looking at those critical positions that we find when we have when we look at the evaluation afterwards, we're seeing that we could actually get more improved positions. So it's not not that we're going for safe play. It's just that when the evaluation kicks in, they're finding better moves. Going to take might not happen all the time. So I'm just going to eye this one up, and if we have a target, let's just put the check on the king here while we're thinking. Let's just attack the pawn, and let's develop the bishop, shall we? Hmm, I thought it was going to come with the knight, so he slowed his knight down. Alright, let's go here with the bishop. Maybe looking to come this side, get the knight developed. Okay, so we'll go this side. I thought he might have moved his knight, so preventing that. It's nothing key because he's got his knight and he's got his queen um, protecting the area. So they still get castled. But we're making them do things they don't want to do. That's a key thing for us. Maybe he's wanting to stop us from getting our knight out. He, he is as well. <laughs> Let's just attack this pawn. So the importance of his king's safety is, is nothing to him. So he'll probably get this pawn if we take with the queen because his rook will come here. But if his rook goes there, the bishop takes. So he's doing all the work for us. So we're not having to actually do anything grand. Do have the sights of the pawn here. That's what the knight was going to be challenging. So how does the opponent come back from this now then? So this is where we, we potentially could be making mistakes. I'm going to take the pawn. It doesn't look like that's a mistake. We still have pressure on his king and his bishop. So now he's bringing his rook down. His rook's all by itself. It's not. It can't do anything, surely. I'm going to develop the knight blocking the rook in. Oh, he's taking the pawn, you see, it's things like that, giving stuff away. Let's go here. Looking to see whether we can put a little bit of a check on the king. Because it didn't look like it was anything major that the rook could do down there. It's by itself, it's got no support. So, it's helped us improve our position. He may just take the knight off the board with the rook because it's too much. Okay, well, we'll go in here with the check. Oh, oh. But does that not cause them a situation? Queen takes. Rook comes here. Queen goes back to the same place. So, yeah good fight back from the opponent obviously but we've still to me got a better position on the board now the evaluation I know is gonna kick my butt it's gonna say you should have done X Y and Z I mean we do have Queen here but it's going to basically yep so if we work it so that somehow let's see if we get the Rook here Can't get the knight in because the pawn's there. Get the rook there. And face here. No, oh, that's a bit too much, isn't it? Right. Come on. It's on this move. 
Looks like we're allowing them to get back into the game. They've got more pieces on the board and how has that happened? <laughs> Let's go here to attack. I suppose he's going to just drop the pawn. Oh, he's had enough. Oh, we're letting him get away. He's going to take the pawn here. Oh, we're letting him get away. I don't care about that pawn. I need. I want to squish the king somehow. There must be something for us. Surely, with this type of position. So we can now come up and attack the knight. Obviously, the knight can move as well. Let's go here to attack the queen. He has done that. Okay, let's go here. The knight goes there, queen check, mate. Bishop's going to do something to attack something. Yeah, so I think I took the ugly way around of getting to this type of position. It's not one, but I feel like I'm pressuring pieces. Oh, you're joking. I've given up my rook. <laughs> i give up my rook. Oh, you're having a laugh, aren't you? Oh, are you joking? What the heck is going on here? How did he escape that? Put a check on the king. How did he escape that? I had him bang to rights there, man. Oh, dear me. All I've got is a draw. Repetition. Rook up. He's got his knight there. His knight takes the rook, we take his rook, but then that's no good to me. Oh no. In fact he could hide around here, couldn't he? Oh that's savage, that's savage, savage. I don't know if that was the right move for them to make. Let's go and put a check on the king. He looks like he's getting squished now. It should be all over. Come on. Where's my, what? The queen must be. Oh, I can't even get down there. It's a draw, isn't it? I can't make any other moves or else I won't. Let's go here. Can you, Adam and Eva? That's exactly the type of thing I was talking about. I do get these really good positions, but then they just seem to slip away from me, so I'm hanging on by a thread. Uh, yeah, it's a draw. Queen can't come here. Oh, but if he goes, he's not going to go there. He's going to stay in the dark square. If we push up. That gives his queen time to get into the game. Or his knight even to get into the game. Opening up his rook. One. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's not right. It's not right. Ah, oh, it's not right. It's not right. Yeah, he's uh, going for a draw. If I push this here, then I could look to tickle a bit of a situation, but he's just going to drop his pawn, isn't he? Then he's going to be safe as hell. He might drop it to here, then the knight can't put a check on the king anymore. Yeah, we go there thinking we're clever. He goes here.
I'm gonna go for it, but damn, that's annoying. Oh, he's gone f too far down, I think. I think he's gone too far down. Ooh, I think. I don't know if I'm gonna win a tempo here or not, actually. But. No more checks on the king, so he's going to capitalize on it. Have we just given it up? I think whatever he does, if he doesn't take the pawn, at least we get another check on. And then that's checkmate, because he can't go anywhere else. So he has to take the pawn. But it's not a winning thing yet at all. Damn! Four minutes each. Oh, I can't wait to see the evaluation on this. It's going to so tell me off. Oh, he's escaped. But the queen's going to go here and that will be checkmate. Check. And then that's checkmate. Oh. That was a long-winded way. Oh, sha. Nice one. Evaluation. Quick, quick. Unbelievable. Totally messed it up. Right, let's have a look. So we're uh, building nice and steady away. It's like the gambit specialist type thing. Uh, yeah, there we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not bothered about that. Yeah, we're out and out winning here, look, I mean and then we took we really messed it up. We really messed it up from this point on. I mean, it's showing plus six four at the minute, but that's not what I'm interested in because we messed it up big style. Knight comes up. Look, can't wait. I'm waiting for the big dip now. And six point three still. Plus seven point six. Plus eight at the minute. Still plus eight, huh? Okay, we must have messed it up a bit more over here. Let's keep going. Plus seven. I'm waiting for the big drop. He takes the pawn. We thought we were up. This plus eight point eight here. Oh, that's it. That was the one. That was the one. Oh, the rook move. Oh, I thought with me having the support. Oh, such a stupid move. Oh my days. Oh my word. I wonder if there's, well, I know there's chess players that have done the very same thing and chess players that have, um, they've got a pawn that's at the front and they've put their piece behind the pawn thinking that it's supported and then that piece has been taken because they thought that their, their pawn was supporting them. So I've seen many things go on and this was a bit silly really, I should have just taken a bit more time there. So now it's minus, minus 6.2. Oh, let's check mate in one for me. What happened there? Wow. So the king moved down there. There's checkmate in one. What the, oh did I I missed it? What did I miss? <gasps> Was it oh did I have to come back here? No. What? Is it the night? Oh, it's there. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Oh dear me. We didn't see it. So it came back and it was minus one. And now we're plus two. Plus two. Plus two, plus three. And then it's drawish at this moment in time. And then that's minus eight. <laughs> Taking that chance, <laughs> that's so ugly. 
Oh my crack it is. Okay, but they didn't go for it, so we so it's showing minus 0 0.3. So there's nothing major there. But we felt we had a plan. It's minus one. And then we could push and then go for the checkmate. That was awful. But as I mentioned right at the very beginning, I'm wanting to just have a look at the latest thing that I'm finding from my evaluation of my games is missing those crucial critical finishing maneuvers per se so it's the position on the board I can find them and then I'm missing the actual gold it's because it's got so many pieces there I'm thinking everything's covered damn 